is the value of Porsche 911 SCs still going up, or is it just a matter of inflation keeping up? Let's find out. Beat Nerds is your daily YouTube car game show, where we predict the online auction results of the most interesting cars on Bring a Trailer, Cars and Bids, Haggerty Marketplace, and more. It's just like the Price is Right game show. Play along and see if you can beat the nerds. All right, Chris Carbine from Carbine Motor Cars in New Orleans, Louisiana, has selected for us a 1983 Porsche 911 SC Coupe on Bring a Trailer that is running no reserve. Um, uh, offered for sale by the seller 911R, which is also known as Avant Garde Motors in Portland, Oregon. Deep, you've gotten really quiet all of a sudden there. I don't know uh, how's it going, guys. All right. Um, while Deep is trying to fix his audio issues there, uh, I will go ahead and uh, maybe say a thing or two about the car. Wow, it's a gold 911. We've never seen one of those before. Uh, sorry, everybody, for the audio issues guys, as uh, Deep unplugs and stuff. Hey, he's there back. He Look at that. Yeah, I apologize, uh, Wade. My battery died, and uh, and it died while you were talking and made all that noise over you. <laughs> uh, and then I just put in a dead battery because I got about 20 minutes worth of show, and I had to put another battery in it. So here we go. We'll see if this one lasts <laughs> a few minutes longer. Um, our car is offered for sale at a Portland, Oregon, and is showing 66,000 original miles. The color is called Platinum Metallic, um, and it's got a brown leather interior. 16-inch uh, Fuchs, uh, sunroof, fog lights, and then they call it the whale tail spoiler, but that's actually the Carrera spoiler. Is it a whale tail? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Pictures, pictures, pictures. All right. Well, that's about it. I you, Look, this car is awesome. Um, this is the type of car that that me and JP, you know, absolutely fawn over. Um, it's kind of a niche color. This is what we would, you know, certainly refer to as a rare shade, and it is the the damn turbo Carrera wing. I want one of those wings for my car so bad. Uh, that I think is the best looking wing, and it is referred to as the whale tail spoiler. Um, certainly, period correct in those colors. Uh, I love that it's, um, you know, got sort of a '70s '80s vibe to it uh, with the brown interior and um low original miles and looks to be in really nice condition jp i'm sure when you look at the pictures you appreciate right off the bat that somebody cranked this thing down on its torsion bars and took it down below even european ride height um it just looks awesome with that stance i think it's just right um you know some might argue no michael it's too low i don't give a shit i think it looks really good like that um and that three liter motor in this car is arguably one of the best of all of the g body cars uh, because of how lively it is. Um, everything about looking at these photos, John, makes me want to get in the car and drive it. And uh, I don't think you could pay the car a better compliment. It is accompanied by a certificate of authenticity, which is great because they stopped doing those. Uh, but this one has it. I think that's really neat. You could verify all your um, you know, gearbox and chassis numbers um, and find out all the original uh, equipment that came on it. This car had a uh, speedometer and two scales fog lights, uh, sport shock absorbers, which is really cool. High amperage battery. I mean, somebody somebody configured this car to be a driver, and uh, and I like it. So, John, I send it over to you. Look, I know you would love this car 100 times more if it was black on black, uh, but you got to stop and pause and appreciate one um, that is a sort of striking, not out of range, but like not often selected colorway. Um, you know, I, does Porsche make a gold car today? I don't think they do. So, I, I like this thing. I, I love looking at it. I, I, I'd want that in my own garage. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I mentioned at the top of the show, have prices gone back to 2019? And I think just looking at where this car is at right now, even, I mean, it's sitting for two days, and I know we're not talking about numbers yet, but it's at 59000 bucks. Um, there's no way, I mean, 2019, a gold SC, I don't care how <laughs> nice it was. Um, there's no way it would get 60,000 bucks. I mean, we're talking maybe 40 would be the nicest SE there was on the planet in 2019. Uh, so this car with its kind of weird colorway looks great. I, I do agree. It looks really cool, but it would be really tough for me to actually pull the trigger on a car like this. I guess it's because I'm an old guy and I just, for most of my life, this colorway would be a colorway that everyone would just kind of like turn their nose at. I get 
people, you know, loving the crazy weird colors, like the weird blues and the weird yellows and stuff like that. But this is just like old man gold is what this color is referred to <laughs> by any person other than a Porsche file. Um, and you know, this kind of chocolate mocha interior, love it. But on gold, it's just like, ugh, the, gosh, what do you think of those floor mats? They, they went with like, you know, barf, baby barf, uh, beige floor mats yeah, that's the, just terrible i was the, the, yeah with the bitter chocolate interior and i think that is that's a that's Why a didn't bad they get cocoa mats in this thing i just don't understand yeah. anyways whatever um beautiful car i'm sure it's just absurdly fun to drive and would love it but uh yeah we'll get to numbers in a second wade what do you think of this uh, old man gold car i am a fan of old man gold Woo! this, this, is, this right. is this is a perfect spec for me You're kind I, of wearing an old man gold sweater exactly tonight. it matches my sweater yeah. and I, I'll, I'll go visit the girlfriend up in portland we'll take this car down drive it down the coast everyone will think i'm 88 years old you need and to get a great. tweed jacket with like the elbow patches perfect yeah I love and it. big old glasses mm -hmm. and just cruising i maybe dude, a pipe I, I, th I think this is great i i actually really like the 70s and 80s metallic colors of, of a lot of these cars and even the interior it's kind of growing on me the more i scroll through these pictures because it just matches the rest of the car True. if it was like a nice <laughs> clean all one color black or silver or something interior that would make too much sense but this matches the vibe it looks like an old man office inside <laughs> um and i i will say Props to the, uh, the the seller consigner. These pictures are amazing, and this car is so clean inside and out. They they put it up on the lift. They took it apart. They, everything looks so great. I would feel bad driving it because it'll never look this nice again. But this is a really really nice car. Has anyone ever put a bookshelf in the back of one of these? <laughs> you know, yeah. but like a whole bunch of encyclopedia. Exactly. Yeah. From from <laughs> nineteen you know seventy four or many, something like that. Many, the interior of this car smells like many leather bound books. <laughs> <laughs> What's it gonna go for, deep? All right, so Chris Carbine selected the car for us, um, and I want to commend him on this because of all the people that are out there that send me cars, Yuri and Sahan and Carbine and Buddha and uh, Chef, please send us your bids with the submission because mm. we really like we want you to play along with us. I know Carbine plays along in the things, but since he picked the car and we're saying his name, Carbine also gave us a number. He sent us this car and he said ninety k. And I actually wow. think that's not too far off um, because what we're seeing the, the frenzy on rare shades. Uh, this car having 66,000 original miles and in all original condition. I love the wing. Um, I'm not a fan of the Blaupunk stereo, but if you're going to have a modern stereo, I like that it is a Blaupunk. Um, and uh, it just the car is so clean underneath. I like that bid. I will just say this. The market is soft on these slightly less special cars um you know if this was some rare 964 i'd be all in and going to the top of the market but in the end this is just a brown interior sc um and i think this car would have done better six seven eight months ago i think it's come to market a little too late uh and so with that in mind i'm going to go under carbine's bid and give you eighty three thousand dollars for my bid um which i think it will sell so if i'm wrong and carbine wins it'll definitely sell for 90 uh, but I think 83 would be enough to take it home. Uh, JP, how much further underneath me are you going to go? Yeah, man. I mean, it's tough because you look at a, I mean, BAT and in, in 911s typically double in the last day. And uh, no there's reserve. No, and there's no way this thing's getting to a buck 20. Not a chance. It's not a break in 100. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go 75 and just say it peters out. I think it's gonna get a, it's it's got a bunch of attention. Uh, it is the best looking gold old man SC I've seen <laughs> in a long time, maybe ever. My first Scirocco was a gold old man gold. It was the same colorway, uh, yeah. and I love that champagne room. Uh, but uh, yeah, this uh, John, John, should we do a secondary line of bidding and guess what old man town this is gonna wind up in? I'm going Palm Springs. Final answer. Is it in Washington already? <laughs> it's got Washington plates, right? It's in so Oregon. It's in, in Portland. It's in Oregon. It's Portland. It's okay. It should be in Oregon. Yeah. And it'll wind up in uh, Leavenworth, Washington, up there in the Bavarian town. All right, Wade, Leavenworth, what do you think it's going to bring? Wow. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't think it has uh, double to go. I think it'll go a little bit higher, uh, 79,911. Um, and I, I think that's a lot of money for this car. Um, I probably won't buy it for that much, but I wish I could. Yeah. Mental, what's your number? Oh man, I honestly looked at this this afternoon. And I thought for sure this is an eighty-five thousand dollar car, so I'm just going to be wrong and say eight four nine eleven. There it is. All right, nine eleven. All right, good guesses all around. Thank you, Chris Carbine, for submitting that nine eleven. I bet you Carbine wishes uh, Carbine Motor Cars was selling it. 
put a little money in his pocket. But yeah, nice car. Yeah, the nerd herd seems to be as optimistic as uh, mental. I mean, well, lot you've got two that agree there, yeah. with your seventy-five, spot on. Mm-hmm. So two people actually said seventy-five before you. Well, there you go. They're copying me. I should have said 75, 9, 11. I don't know why I didn't. That's kind of weird, but uh, it's more likely I'll get into Yahtzee this way. Uh, all right. What do you guys think this uh, old man car will bring? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, guys, I got to tell you about our friends, God and Porsche of Las Vegas and God and Classic. If you're looking for a new Porsche or a classic, you've got to call our friend Steve at God and this guy. 1989 linen gray metallic G50 cab. Is that going to be for sale? is going to be for sale. Uh, the car only has 65,000 miles. On Save it. yourself the hassle of screwing around with all the auctions like we always talk about and just talk to Steve. He'll find you the classic Porsche you're looking for. Gotten Porsche of Las Vegas. Hey guys, you're probably looking at your watch and wondering if bid nerds will ever end. So you better talk to our friends at Our Smiths to make sure your Rolex, Tag Heuer, AP, or any fine timepiece is in tip top shape. Our Smiths, fine Swiss repair. Several days later. Chris Carbine from Carbine Motor Cars down in New Orleans, Louisiana, picked for us this 1983 Porsche 911 SC with the Yuri package. This car is is light gold with a brown interior. This This car car is right in Yuri's wheelhouse. Uh, Very 80s, very cool, really nice car. Um, Represented by 911R out of Portland, Oregon, the car shows 66,000 original miles. This SC, of course, has a three liter and a five speed. Uh, with a sunroof and a really cool whale tail real spoiler. Uh, all of us like the car. Maybe n- none of our first choice in colors except Yuri, but we all like the car and the condition looked, you know, to be among the best of the best. So the question is, would a rare shade, reasonable miles, premium example of an SC still be breaking records? We've seen recently over the last year, year and a half, that some extraordinary SCs have been pushing close to 100 grand. And uh, Chris Carbine started in the bidding when he submitted the car to John and I at $90,000. I gave my reasons. I like the car, but I think the market is a little bit soft and the light gold winds up being a polarizing car. There are other more popular rare shades than sort of the light gold. So I go, I came in at 83,000 JP ever the more pragmatic one took a really strong under at $75,000 Wade split the difference between us coming in at 79,911 bucks. And of course, mental was in studio working the board switcher. Jesus said $84,911 putting him at the top of everybody in the studio. Uh, JP, without further ado, our car did get a lot of action. It took 40 bids to close the auction where the hammer fell. The hammer fell at $76,000 where it sold on those 40 bids. Uh, JP, you got that one correct. So let's start with you. You were kind of the low man. What were you thinking to bring in, you know, to be right on the money at 75 grand? Well, I mean, I think this car definitely supports the idea that prices are still stupid. Look, in 2019, there were no SEs getting 70 plus thousand dollars. That was not a thing. I don't care how nice your no. SC was. The nicest one was 45, 50 grand. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you found a collector miles uh, SC, uh, you would be lucky to bring over $50,000. Like if it had like delivery miles, like maybe, you know, call it. 5,000 miles or something like that. I know that's more than delivery miles, but still, even then, you'd be lucky to get more than 50,000. If you got 55 grand for that car, we'd be like, oh my God, $55,000 for an SC? I mean, this is almost, this is $30,000 more than that in, you know, winter, basically, of 2024 when everyone's screaming the sky is falling. And this isn't even a premium color. The, the, the miles are relatively low, but they're certainly not crazy collector miles low. This is just a nice SC that all of us would love to own and drive. But would any of us in this room pay $80,000 <laughs> for this freaking car? Yuri's got his hand up here. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Wade, what do you think? You know, <clears throat> I also really liked this car, but my my question is, you know, if this is what this car sold for with this particular spec, how much more money is in a higher spec, lower mileage car than this? I mean, do we hit 80, 85? Is there a $100,000 SC out there that is like the best of the best? 
I mean, what, what do you, what do you guys think on that? Is there, is there a six figure SD out there? Well, well, we've, we've seen them in the last, you know, 24 months. There's definitely been a few of them have popped up. They've had low miles and stuff like that. The question really is, are there still hundred thousand dollar SCs? And I think the answer is yes. If you had a super low mile delivery mile car with a cool color, with one of those cool spec eighties greens or yep. something like that, the answer is hell yeah. You're getting a yeah. hundred plus for it. Totally. Um, I, I just think w- what's happening right now in the market, and I think uh, is that, you know, just like the regular car market, like if we're talking, I, I we opened up the show talking about like Hyundais and minivans, right? <laughs> and we're talking about how the prices of those have just absolutely collapsed. And they're absolutely, that is for sure true. Like JD, uh, CDRJ dealerships, if you're a uh, Stellantis dealership, most of those dealerships have anywhere from 350 to 700 days of inventory. Ugh. I mean, they are stuck with a, with all those high end Rams and stuff like that. But here's the here's the thing about uh, even regular people trade ins. What the dealerships are finding and what you're seeing on on all the regular classifieds is that there are no quality used cars out there. Everything that has everything that's four or five years old. Uh, that you would usually expect to see, you know, low miles has a bajillion miles. Anyone that has a low mileage, three, four, five year old car uh, that bought it uh, and financed it, maybe they bought it at a five year loan or a 72 month loan or something like that. They're keeping those cars because they have a 3% interest rate. Um, and if they were to sell the car, uh, they would be trading it in at a super low amount. None of the dealers are giving anyone any money uh, for trade-ins. So they'd be getting nothing for their trade-in, and they'd have to replace it for an inflated new car um, at a higher interest rate. So it just doesn't make sense for people to get rid of their quality used cars. And by the way, there haven't been any leases in the last three years. Hardly anyone has leased a car. So usually car dealerships get lease returns uh, after after two or three years and they don't have any of those either um so how do you think th- i mean is there a trickle down effect from regular cars to classic cars what do you think dude i yeah oh man that that's such a really good question i i do jp i think if the regular car market is suffering then i think the average special interest car is also going to suffer you know the exception always winds up being the premium of the classic cars those blue chip collectibles uh, those high ticket items you know the that one percent can still afford to pay a premium for the best examples of whatever it is they're looking for whether it's domestic or european something racing or something that came off the assembly line in detroit um but i think the average alpha the average 911 i think they soften up a little bit so um yeah i think there is a correlation I, I begrudgingly, but they, but they are, they, they always wind up being related. What do you think, Wade? Yeah, I, I think so too. And, and one thing that we've talked about on the show a number of times now is like you said, JP, the average used car, there are no good average used cars. And the average used car nowadays is something that is nice and probably even more inflated than usual. We've seen nice mid 2000s pickup trucks go for 20 or 30 grand. For what reason? We don't know. But I think your reasoning kind of justifies that. We've seen, you know, decent sort of mid tier luxury cars with low miles that go for a surprising amount of money that I think close the gap between people who want something interesting performance based and people who don't want to spend six figures on a luxury new car right now. So I, you know, I think that there are a lot of different elements to it. And I think they all sort of provide that explanation to, to exactly what you said. Has there ever been a better time to daily drive a classic car? <laughs> what do you think, Yuri? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Can I just live in the dead space for a minute? I, I, I wanted to answer the last question. And, Go for uh, it. Um, well, it, it, to, then both of them is, well, uh, all I know is I'll, that's all I can drive anyway. I'm, I'm literally looking. The one car I would, I would look for now if I could get it is a um, Suzuki Jimny. Oh, uh, a, a Samurai. Yeah, basically, like, yeah. like the like a hard bodied samurai, yeah. and then just and, and outfit it. If I can get one here, that'll be my daily driver. The newest car I have right now is a 1980, and that's my fault. So for better or worse, that's I'm um, I'm driving I'm driving vintage cars. Have Have you ever driven a, a samurai or a Jiminy? You actually <laughs> been behind the wheel one of them things. So can 
Can we just leave this topic? Because <laughs> they, you cannot go on the freeway in one of those. Well, those are okay. not, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, right. they have zero power, but they are fun. Anyways, okay, that'll be, uh, the Suzuki will be a discussion for another episode. Hey guys, thanks for watching this clip of the Bid Nerds podcast. Play along with us live every Sunday and Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. on YouTube. And see if your bids stack up to the rest of the nerd herd in the chat live. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next episode. No! Get those words!